Well, it's great to be here, and good morning, New York. Um, today, I'm going to talk to you about, a little bit about uh, some of the experience we've had. You know, we started Think Big Analytics over six years ago as the first consultancy focused exclusively on big data. We've been acquired by Teradata over the last couple of years and really have brought the perspective of independent consultants, advisors around the analytic ecosystem to the company. Uh, you know, we continue to do independent consulting around Hadoop and Spark, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the journey we're seeing companies are having our customers and succeeding in, in deploying analytics in the enterprise. Uh, we've always had a lot of a practice of doing work in public cloud. Um, it was great to hear Cloudera talking about how they're seeing that too. That's been important in our business for a long time. And it's great that Teradata actually announced early this month the availability of its parallel database on Amazon. Uh, you should check it out at the booth because it's really impressive the kind of results that achieves complementing the ecosystem. But here we're gonna, I'm going to talk to you more about the journey, uh, the foundation of enterprise analytics, where most of our customers are starting by adding a data lake to their data warehousing environment to complement their analytic capabilities, expand access to that lake with data democratization, and then finally, building analytics products in a repeatable manner. You know, we're seeing that as a key trend, and I'm going to talk to you about that as well. This is what we call analytics ops. Let's dive in and talk about, you know, how we see people succeeding with each of those. So when we started working with Hadoop, most customers were doing a single use case, had a very specific idea of what they wanted to achieve. But now we see companies really wanting to deploy at scale. Right? They want to have a governed data lake where they can trust the data, but they don't want to take the time to curate all the data and, and model it up front. So you know, early in our history, we started working with large-scale high-tech manufacturing companies that had petabytes of data, and that really was instructive for us. Being able to build repeatable frameworks for how you handle thousands of data feeds and be able to understand where the data came from, be able to apply a variety of analytic techniques to them, that was critical. Right? And, and out of that experience, we came up with a reusable framework that we've deployed at several customers. And about a year ago, we took the next step in evolving that, really thinking through how do we support all the different roles in there. So what do you need to do from an IT operations standpoint to be able to manage Data Lake from the standpoint of the, the whole feed, a series of steps in the workflow? What do you need to do so that data stewards can have confidence in the data, so that analysts can see the data that's in the lake and understand its provenance and quality? Right, so we see that there's a role for each of these things. You can see uh, a chart of some of the different technologies that we believe are really impactful. Spark is really important as a next-gen processing framework we use, and NiFi. But we build on top of that something that we're excited to share an example of, some screenshots here, of our Kylo project. So this is a preview of Kylo. It's a open source, it's going to be open source later this year. We're currently working with a number of large customers in financial services, consumer packaged goods and telecommunications. It allows not, it allows not only a trusted industrial data lake, but also democratization, access to data. Data scientists and analysts can wrangle data visually. It uses NiFi as a powerful engine underneath to build templates. And then ETL developers and modelers can easily scale and create large numbers of feeds in a consistent way following the template that makes sense for your business. So we're now working with a number of large customers using it in production. And you can see uh, a demo of it either at this URL or at our booth here in booth number 511 on the expo floor in Strata. So definitely well worth checking that out. Once you get past that access to data, then, then I think it really gets exciting. What we think of as analytics ops is the next stage of evolution we're seeing in our customers. Our customers are really focused on data science as a central part of their digital strategies, right? How do you take all this great data, IoT data, consumer interaction data for mobile, et cetera, and make it a repeatable part of your business? Too often we see data science teams struggle to create production results. They get stuck with babysitting, where they're taking their one-off models, they have to handcraft a, the data set every time and manually retrain the data and retrain the model and deploy it through heroism rather than repeatable results. Just like DevOps, close the gap between engineering and operations. Analytics ops is an emerging discipline that will close the gap between analytics professionals and data science and engineering teams so that you have a continuous process of creating the analytic data sets, training models, scoring them, verifying quality, and deploying into production. This is important for data science. We, we help 
large customers, for example, in supply chain models, deploy analytics ops with cross-functional teams, with our uh, framework, with not only as Kylo, but also data science lab to integrate a variety of best-in-class tools and model management. And we're seeing it even as we're now starting to do deep learning projects with TensorFlow in, in the AI arena. Again, critical to have that analytics ops mentality and approach in how you approach deploying the high value data science outcomes into the enterprise. And, and I would be remiss in pointing out, when I say A-B testing on this slide, it's really about champion challenger, the idea that you need to be testing your models against each other and not just features on your website. So that's critical to the concept of analytics ops. So with that, let me take you, th uh, take you through the uh, summary again that we see the or enterprise is really driving to being data-driven in this new world of big data, that the industrial data lake is the foundation, having trusted data at massive scale. A data lake isn't just a dumping ground of random data, but it has to stand for data you can rely on. Democratization to let everyone have access to it. We think Kylo is a great technology that we're open sourcing that you should check out to support those first two layers. And then finally, the emerging discipline of analytics ops. We think it's critical for every company to be digital, to be able to really realize repeatable value from their data science investments. And at Think Big, we're proud of our years of experience, our great expertise in helping companies at every stage of this, and our investment in repeatable software, as well as our participation in the broader Teradata ecosystem. Thank you for your time this morning.